What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is going to be a review slash unboxing for the Vankyo Matrix Pad S7 tablet. This is a 7 inch tablet, runs Android 9.0, has 2 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, 5 megapixel camera on the back, as well as a camera on the front up there. IPS uh, display, FM radio, GPS, Wi-Fi only, and it comes in the color of black. So let's put this off to the side. I do have it all set up, um, but let's first check out what comes inside of this box. Now the tablet goes for, currently at the time of making this video, 80 bucks. So it's going to be com competing with other inexpensive tablets, uh, especially ones that run Android. Uh, this is just a little card that gives you some uh, information on how you can contact them and give them suggestions or if you're unhappy with something to reach out to them. Inside here we're going to find the rest of what comes inside here and that is a micro USB cable. I wish it was USB-C charging but it is micro USB. So that's something to keep in mind when you uh, get this. Here's a little uh, walkthrough of sorts on how to use the tablet and what the buttons do and all of that. You also get a manual, which <laughs> I don't know, I never look at these things, but if you're not sure how to use the tablet, it's gonna walk you through basically everything on how to use the tablet. That's actually pretty cool that they give that to you as well. So the Matrix Pad S7 tablet has a seven inch display. The resolution on it is 1024 by 600. So it's not like, you know, 720p or 1080p, but you can see the angles are freaking amazing on this. And it gets pretty bright um, for such an inexpensive tablet. At the bottom, or you don't have any ports. On the side, on the right hand side, you get uh, volume up and down. You also have your button that turns the, the power off. On the left hand side, no buttons. At the top here, this is where you're gonna have a lot of the, uh, the buttons. So you'll have a button that allows you to plug in a headphone. Headphone jacks are rare these days. You also have a port to add additional storage up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card slot and then the micro USB charging port. And that's pretty much it. And then you were left with the tablet at this point. So this tablet is going to uh, not be a, a speed demon. It's not gonna be a powerhouse. It's gonna be someone that wants to consume media and play some light gaming. So let's check out a game. What game better to check out that's uh, not too crazy than Subway Surfers. So let's get that loaded up. I'm gonna turn the volume down. But one thing about the speakers, they actually don't sound that bad. A lot of the Chinese type tablets that I've been checking out sometimes have bad sound. This one actually sounds not too bad. And the performance on this one is also pretty good with what you, uh, for, you know, like this, this type of gaming and stuff. Not bad at all. And I'm playing like a freaking beast right now. Can I be stopped? I don't think so. I don't even know. I never play this game though. I didn't even know what was asking me right there, but I am totally killing it. And you can see this game having no issues on this tablet. There's no slowdown. So if you like these type of games or you play like word games, you know, things that aren't super graphic intensive, this should work great with that kind of stuff. Oh, there you go, I did. But anyways, you saw it played perfectly fine. Next up, maybe you're into consuming media. YouTube, for instance, it's so obviously going to be able to do that. So we can open up YouTube and go to my favorite YouTuber in the whole world, Greggles TV, and let me play one of these videos. I'll tap it. So once it starts playing, and I'll put the volume on in a second, but you can play it in up to uh, 720p 60, and it does perfectly fine with that. You can see, got my video playing. Let me put the volume up. Which would be down from the 256 gigabytes that was in the Galaxy Note 10. Now this version that has 128 gigabytes could be the base base storage. Like the videos look Note good. 10, the Note 10, the Very impressed like with the Note videos where they look. Uh, no Volume's maxed out. It doesn't sound super loud, but it's loud enough to hear it, to consume it, and it doesn't sound that bad either. One thing to keep in mind, it is only one 
speaker on the back here. You're not gonna get stereo speakers, but like I said, it doesn't sound that bad. Also, if you're looking to consume such, you know, other stuff such as Netflix or Disney Plus, this does that great as well. Open up Netflix real quick and I'll play The Office for a second. That's all. And I'm not gonna play too much, but you see it does play. Um, and when it does play, it doesn't seem to play in HD, so keep that in mind, but it's definitely clear enough to watch it and enjoy it anyway. And then Disney Plus, open that up real quick. Let me close that. And I'll play a half a second of something in here. How about this, Pearl? And I'm doing this stuff in real time, so you're seeing... There you go, plays fine, loads up fairly fast as well. So you, if you're con into consuming media, you should have no problems with this. Um, camera wise, I mean, I'm not a huge camera person with, with tablets, I think it's kind of weird, but it does have a camera. And I did take a photo or two and video. If you wanna do video or photos, just swipe in from the left to the right and you can switch between the camera and video. It can also go into settings and in settings, you can go into resolution and quality and you can switch the back camera um, to lower the megapixels. It's all the way up to five on the back and on the front camera, it is 1.9 megapixels or you can make it lower. Back camera, you can record in up to HD 720p. Front camera only records in 480p. And let's go back here and you can check out, again, so I'm not a huge fan of taking photos on this kind of stuff, but you do have the ability to do it. So let me go into my photos. Here's a camera I took with the front facing camera. Hopefully you can see it. It didn't come out that bad at all, especially you know for a tablet. Here's another one. Here's another one I took with the uh, back camera. It's kind of, kind of orientation's a little bit off, but came out okay. And then here is a video. What up, what up, what up? Recording with the front video camera on this tablet. What do you guys think? Sound good? Look good? Let me know. Up, so recording up? videos, photos, you can do it with this tablet. And also, if you want, it even does Google Duo. So if you want to do video calls, you definitely can with this tablet. And it will do you know, pretty much fine with it. Battery life with this, you're gonna get up to eight hours of mixed use. Also, you do get 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, so it, that's definitely enough to download games, apps, video, watching videos, all that stuff on there. Uh, and then there's also some nice little tweaks in here as well. If you go into the navigation bar, you can go in here and you can choose, you know, if you want the back button on the left or the right. You can also choose this button right here, which you can see I have it down here. So I have my recent apps button. I have my home button, I have my, I'll just open this up, my back button, and then I also have, it'll bring down uh, my notifications um, and let me see my notifications, or it'll bring down those quick toggles as well and you can press it and it'll go back, back and forth real easy for you. And then just jumping around, just you can see the performance of this. It's pretty good. It's, it's for what you're getting, you know, an, a competitor to the Fire um, tablet that this that this actually runs Android Android 9.0. It's nice, you know. The performance isn't that bad. The speaker isn't that bad. Um, battery life is pretty good, and you know, it gives you like I said, it gives you a little bit of customization with the navigation bar. You can put a micro SD for expanded storage to save, you know, pretty much anything that you want on it. So at that point, as a media device to do video chats, to surf the web. Let me load up a website real quick here. So I'll load up my Greggle's tech website, which I don't give that much love to sometimes, but I'll load that website up just so you can see how it does with web browsing. And the website's loaded, and you can see it's not bad at all. Loading up this little thing here. And there you go, everything works and seems fine on there. So overall, not a bad little tablet. If you want to pick it up, it is linked down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road. Peace.